What's good, everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com covering the top 10 questions that had came in about every installer's favorite carpet, which is Berber carpeting. So let's dive right into this and see what the masses are wondering about Berber carpeting. So the first question that came in, is Berber carpeting good? No, it's not good. Now let me elaborate a little bit here. So a standard, traditional Berber carpet really isn't a good product. It was hyped up and sold as a great product in the late 90s and it didn't perform well. It snags, it shows stains easily, it just, as a whole, it's garbage in my opinion. So, is Berber carpet good? My opinion, no. Is Berber carpet good for basements? Okay, so a lot of basements in the Midwest, they'll have moisture issues with them. And because of that, you don't necessarily want to install a carpet over a padding if you have moisture issues because the padding will hold the moisture and it'll get moldy and mildewy and funky. So with that being said, a Berber carpet could be a good carpet to install in the basement because you could do a full spread glue down, install the Berber with no pad, and it would perform okay under these circumstances. It's either Berber or an indoor outdoor commercial type carpet would operate just fine under those circumstances. Um, can Berber carpet be patched? Yes, that's actually the one upside to Berber carpeting because it snags like crazy, but on the flip side of that, it actually patches very well. I have several videos on this channel about that. I'll try to link to those so you can check them out. And in most cases, you can patch it so that it's a flawless patch. You won't even know it was ever there. So that's the one upside to Berber carpeting. Um, does Berber carpet wear well? I'm gonna say no. Now, once again, we're talking about traditional Berber carpets here products that look just like this. I do not believe they wear well at all. They show stains, they snag easy. In the late 90s, they were pitched as this iron product that didn't perform whatsoever. It just didn't deliver at all when they were uh, producing this and selling this to the marketplace. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, does Berber carpet need pad? Kind of covered that a little bit already. No, a Berber carpet does not need pad. You could glue it directly to the floor. You could do cut the fits with it. And since there's no real pile, it won't necessarily crush like a plush or a frise carpet would showing those main traffic patterns in. So yeah, a Berber carpet does not need pad. Just glue it, do a direct glue down installation and you'll be just fine. I think we have videos covering that as well. I'll try to link to that in the description. Does Berber carpet snag easily? Yes, it snags very easily. Drag anything across it, it could catch a loop and it runs. Then your vacuum catches it, it continues to run. And the carpet you invested a bunch of money into is a patchwork disaster throughout. I actually had a cat real quick, this was several years ago, had a huge uh, Rottweiler. And I told him, I was like, look, this is bad. You don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. He said, no, I love the carpet. This is what I want. Literally the next day he was calling me back because his dog had pulled uh, loops everywhere and this totally destroyed the carpet right after he made the investment. So yeah uh, Let's see here What does Berber carpet cost? So I'm going to speak to the uh, The retail type clients on this because installers know what the wholesale prices are But most of these questions that came in I believe are from retailers So a Berber carpet on the cheap end going into the big box stores buying remnants things like that You're gonna pay about six to seven. We'll say six to eight dollars per yard for the carpet only and then you just scale up from there but a cheap um, like a product like this to a retailer you're paying $68 per yard and then yeah you can get crazy with it from there if you you know uh, went up into wools and things like that the prices could really jump but yeah six to eight bucks a yard carpet only is Berber carpet outdated? Yes, it's very outdated and I cringe when my customers request it in this time frame. So it was super hot in the late 90s through the early 2000s and that was about it. So any more these days, people are all about frisés, flex, uh, things like that. At least in my marketplace, that's what's real big. So I sell very little Berber. I actually sold some last week, but yeah, overall we don't mess with it. And I actually try to steer my clients out of it just because it's not a good performer overall. Um, let's see here. Is Berber carpet good for pets? Absolutely not. I just shared that story about my buddy's dog there. Dogs and cats will absolutely destroy a Berber carpet much faster than they will a plush or a frisé just because of the loop factor. So the dog's getting a little feisty, he's jumping around, he catches a loop, and it just runs and runs and runs and runs and runs and runs. 
and this process continues until you have a patchwork nightmare throughout your whole house. Now, can it be patched? Absolutely. But do you want an installer at your house once a month patching everything your dog destroyed? It's an investment gone wrong right away. So, yeah, if you have pets, you'll get far more performance out of a brise or a plush carpet. And the final question I had came in, how to cut Berber carpet? So this most likely came in from a DIY type. And once again, I showed you, you know, how this just runs and the strings go everywhere. You need to use a sharp blade and change it often, especially if you're a newbie DIY type of person and you're just trying to cut it in yourself. The second that blade dulls, the blade dulls out on you, as you cut the carpet, it will just, it frays everywhere, it runs, it gets ugly, it gets messy. And it's all bad so a fresh blade every few cuts is going to do you really well so those are the top 10 questions that came in about berber carpet overall stay away from it you don't want it installers don't want to do it we're going to get you into better products here any questions about the carpet and flooring industry be sure to comment below i will create a video answering them for you thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next video